talk to the other side, we do not insult them. <laughs> Thank um, you for that. Uh, of course, yes, we need more of that. So, uh, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a libertarian as a background. I like Trump's policies in terms of government. What are some of your biggest complaints with Donald Trump? Well, our biggest complaints with Donald Trump is that he is flirting with fascism. Now, if you don't know what fascism is, I think you know. Um, fascism is uh, the beginning here. Uh, fascism is defined as a radical authoritarian nationalism. Um, fascism came to rise in Italy in the early 1920s, after World War I, because Italy was broken in a huge debt. Um, the guy who founded fascism was a man called Benito Mussolini. He rose to power in Italy by being the guy who was brash, the guy who spoke his mind, the guy who condemned racial minorities, such as Trump is doing with Mexicans and Muslim people. Now, Trump is also a supporter of Benito Mussolini. He posted a quote about Benito Mussolini. It's better to live one day as a lion than to live hundreds as a lion. Now that is exactly the kind of quote that is targeted towards weaker people, people who are scared. Donald Trump is playing off the fear of the American people because there are a lot of fearful people out there. And I'm very glad that people, though, even though, can still come to us and talk to us. Of course, yeah. yes. Um, Donald Trump has an incredible strongman complex. Another thing that goes along with fascism is the idea of, you know, we're just going to win and win and win, but he never really gives any factual evidence behind it. You know, all it is is just, we're going to win and it's great. He was asked about the nuclear triad. Now, given, I didn't know what the nuclear triad was until I looked it up after that question. But the thing is, is if it's something that... Back up, guys! Back up to the Now, the nuclear triad is, um, is uh, the three ways, you know, a country will deploy nuclear weapons. Trump didn't say anything about that. All, the only thing he said related Don't to nuclear was, well, nuclear here. changes the, the game. Fascism also celebrates ignorance. Like Donald Trump said, I love the poorly educated. That was celebrating ignorance. Um, you believe that, that was, I, I took that as a joke more, but... Took it as a joke, yeah, but I mean, that's the thing, you know? In 1929, Adolf Hitler was the guy who was just, oh, well, he's really sticking it to him. He's not doing the normal political stuff. It was the exact same thing. You know, people always wanted, I mean, Barack Obama got compared to Hitler. I know, I don't know what side you're on with that, but you can really say that Barack Obama's really not like Hitler. Well, it, it would depend but on like, how you looked at it, because I think he has brought us into a system where everything is rapidly leaving the country. But much about leaving. Yes, but, but that's because that's because of big corporations, because of people like Donald Trump. You know, the one percent. Donald Trump. You know, are, I, you know, if this is too personal of a question, obviously, no, no, just to no, no, say. No, no, no. But are you middle class? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or a little less. Lower middle class. Yeah. I am too. Donald Trump doesn't stand behind us. You know, Donald Trump never had to work hard in his life. Do you believe he that he will be able to bring the jobs back? From no, I don't. Tax the I really don't. Want to leave? Because I personally, I mean, is, that's says, the driving force behind what I'm voting for. Is uh, I don't believe that he's fascist. In that I know uh, with my cop. He's, uh, Hitler had stated uh, long before what his views were on that, whereas he didn't have a history of hiring Jews or Muslims, where uh, Trump has done that. But well, you also say you're against illegal immigration, but Trump had a construction crew in New York that was a bunch of illegal Polish immigrants. And I, Anything to say about that? I think that would be a problem as well, and I think the, the, with him saying he didn't want the visas and then going back up, I think he may have had something to do with that as well. What do you think about having a president who refuses to condemn the KKK, an organization known for their hate, hatred and bigotry? Uh, did he really? He said he didn't want to jump to conclusions. He was so quick to say Mexicans are rapists. He was so quick to say that he wants to bar off Muslims from coming to the country. But the KKK, he doesn't want to make any assumptions. I mean, and plus, like, Donald Trump, Donald Trump hasn't worked hard in the day of his life. He a, what he said was a small loan of a million dollars. That was a quote. That was a direct quote. I could go on my phone and show you the video. So you acknowledge that he said a small loan of a million dollars. Why do you think it's okay for a president to be so out of touch with the American people? That he puts a million dollars in a small amount. I think what I'll never see a million dollars in my life. I think you know, I have a really good job. No, that's exactly what he said, though. He exactly said a small loan of a million dollars. A small loan to start a business is a thousand dollars. Now, he, small loan, a million dollars. If we're really, you know, if we're gonna stay, if we can't work it up, you know, from where we are, the middle class is going to stay where it is. And if they have not, that's where the 
one percent is going to keep getting richer. And the American dream, the American dream, is the belief that people can come here from another country, from an impoverished country, and come to this, the land of the free, and make a living for themselves. How can you say that that will really be the American dream when certain ethnic groups will be barred from coming to this country? I think he wants to make sure they're properly vetted, as opposed to like my great grandfather. But why do you want to label Muslims? Not label them, but, but Donald Trump wants to label them.